Good morning, all you beautiful trans people on my phone. Welcome to Trans in the AM. I'm your host, Aaron Green. Let's dig into yesterday's news. Uh, today, we'll start off with a recap of the Netflix walkout story. To summarize the events so far, Dave Chappelle put out a new special where he tells trans jokes, misgenders his dead friend, and declares he is Team Turf. A trans employee at Netflix, Tara Field, tweeted about the special, which subsequently went viral. Netflix suspended Tara and two other employees, but reinstated them one day after The Verge reported on the story. This sparked an uproar within Netflix and from outside groups such as Glad, who wrote that Dave's quote, brand had become synonymous with ridiculing trans people and other marginalized communities, end quote. Trans employees are planning a walkout on Wednesday, October 20th. Internally, organizers wrote, As we've discussed through Slack, email, text, and everything in between, our leadership has shown us that they do not uphold the values to which we are held. Between the numerous emails and non-answers that have been given, we have been told explicitly that we somehow cannot understand the nuance of certain content. Netflix has since fired the organizer of the walkout, who is a black pregnant woman. The reasoning Netflix gave was for sharing confidential, commercially sensitive information outside the company. Best wishes to the participants of the walkout on Wednesday. Good luck to you, and may we all feel healed in the future. Uh, coming up next, Steven Crowder has been suspended from YouTube for violating their hate speech policies. Steven Crowder was suspended for one week last Wednesday. YouTube put out a statement which read, On September 30th, Mr. Crowder uploaded another video that YouTube has determined continues to his prior conduct. The video entitled, Special guest Alex Jones on Great Reset and Joe Rogan triggers leftists again contains a segment that targets the transgender community in an offensive manner. For example, by indicating that trans people pose a threat to women. The story Crowder reported on, which purported that a trans inmate had impregnated a female inmate, was fake, spread by anti-trans hate group Women's Liberation Front. Mashable spoke with the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation spokesperson. They stated that no one became pregnant while incarcerated as a result of the implementation of SB 132. Good on YouTube for issuing the suspension. Only wish we saw stronger action. Allowing transphobic creators to stay on the platform only enforces transphobia. Uh, to cap off the morning, the Texas House has voted to keep transgender women and girls out of female sports. After three previous attempts failed, the Texas House of Representatives passed a bill that bans transgender women and girls from participating in female school sports. Conservatives say the law, which applies to public school teams through high school, is protecting fair competition. Texas is now poised to join seven other states which passed similar laws this year, part of a national campaign in which Republican legislators introduced such bills in 32 states. Ricardo Martinez, chief executive of the LGBTQ rights group Equality Texas, called a passage of the bill a hateful, targeted attack on transgender people. The bill has gone back to the Senate for procedural approval and is expected to reach Greg Abbott's desk. I have many trans friends in Texas, and my heart breaks every week for them with this news. Stay strong, friends. We will be victorious in this war. Thank you all for coming out to Trans in the AM. If you like the show, please leave a like and a comment to help support the channel. And as always, take care and stay unique.